Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today I'm going to show you how to design a part to attach this fan onto this printer so you won't get this kind of print. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So a few weeks ago I did the unboxing and first thoughts or initial thoughts of the Kalida Compact right here. Now while the print quality was quite decent it did have one thing which I brought up and that is the lack of a part cooling fan. Now part cooling fan is imperative if you want to print with material like PLA because it needs to cool down fairly quickly in order to keep its shape while printing. To give you an example of what happens when you don't have a part cooling fan, I printed this model right here. Now this is a particularly difficult model to print and I'll explain why. The model itself is actually relatively easy, it prints without support. However, it does have quite a few steep angles and apart from that this is a multi-material model so it prints in several different parts all jumbled up into one model. While it still prints like this in a single extruder, the extruder or the printer still starts printing one part at a time. So there might be parts which are very small and a bit difficult to print. However, I decided I want to tackle this no fan issue on the Kalido Compact. Now I tried to print a part that I found on Thingiverse. Unfortunately, that didn't work. While the part fitted perfectly fine, it was a bit too long and it started hitting the prints off the bed. So what I did was I spent, I think about five bucks and I bought this USB fan right here. Now this thing is massive, fair enough, but I know that if I put this on a desk and I point it inside, that's a part cooling fan. However, I didn't want to just leave it on a stand. I wanted to attach it somehow to the printer. Now, seeing as I have a barrage of printers in here, 3D printers, I figured I can definitely design something in Fusion 360, even though I'm not well versed in it, but something simple that I can actually attach this there. Now, the idea is to have this fan right here sit right here in the middle of the, uh, well, the entry to the printer, but I want something that will hold it there without obviously me having to hold it for hours on end while the print is ready. So what I want to do is design something, kind of like a bracket. Now this came with a bracket, but it was a stand and it's not what I need. So I took it off and threw it away because I don't need it. There are two ways to go about this. I can print something which will hang off the top here, come down and hold it in place. But I feel that that's too big and whatever I print, it has to be printed with this printer because if someone's going to do this mod they have to be able to print that mod. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two simple legs coming up which slide into the acrylic itself and the fan simply screws itself onto these two brackets so I can slot it in and out whenever I please. Now with everything in life you need to plan things out so I'm just going to draw a bit of a sketch. What I want is I have this is the side view of the fan as it stands now. There's the fan, there are the rotors in here. This is the frame of the printer. And this is the bed. What I want to do is simply create a bracket. Something simple. This is where the screws are on the frame of the fan. So I just want to simply build a bracket and it's gonna kind of look like that. Screws in place so I can slot it in and out whenever I please. So we have the basic shape that we want. We we'll want something along the lines of this going up, do something a bit fancy here. And that is basically it. Now, all I need to do is take measurements. Now the acrylic is six, millimeters thick. I'm actually quite surprised I can do that reversed. So we'll probably do these six millimeters as well. The thickness, we will do a height which will go 25 millimeters. Now the most important thing is I need to find exactly how far that is from here so I can sort of take a measurement kind of like this. 
So what I did was simply place the fan in front of the printer and just sort of eyeballed it with a measuring tape. Now I know that from here to here is 95 millimeters. And I also know that somewhere here till this is about 35 millimeters. These are the ugliest numbers I have ever written upside down, but hey, upside down. Now, I also know that from here to here is about 50 millimeters. That is pretty much all I need to be completely honest because I'm going to be doing a very, very simple sketch on Fusion 360 and then just extrude it. I'm just going to make it a bit prettier. So the first thing we're going to do is create a sketch. Now we're going to choose the top pane and we're going to start drawing a simple line. I'm going to start from there. Now we said that the thickness of the acrylic is six millimeters. So we'll do it at 6.05 millimeters just to give enough space for the um, tolerances. Next up, we're going to draw many more lines. Now, in order to repeat the action, you just right click, scroll up and it will repeat the line. So we're going to do the thickness six millimeters as well. Then we're going to go up. Well, we didn't actually calculate the height, but we can do, we'll do it about 31. Yeah, that should be right. Next up, we're going to go up the middle and we're going to stop at 25. 25 should be enough. This will be the section over here where the acrylic will slot in. Now, if you want to do a line and you want it to be aligned with the, um, with this one right here, what you do is you simply hover over it. And if you move upwards, you can see that blue dotted line that tells you exactly it's 90 degrees going straight down. So we're going to draw another line. We said six millimeters and we're going to do another line going up. We'll do this one also 31 millimeters. So this is our base. This is where the acrylic will slot in. So now what we need to do is we need to see the distance that we have uh, measured, which should be around 9.5 centimeters from this part right here, the top of the acrylic, right to the center of where the, um, where the hole will be, where we will uh, then attach the fan. Now I'm not exactly sure how you measure things just yet, but I have my own way. Now I'm quite sure this is not the easiest way, but it's the way I understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply draw a line and we said we're going to have it at a height of 95 millimeters. And we're also going to move in 35 millimeters. This is where the circle, where the sort of hinge will be. I'm going to draw another line. Once again, yeah, I know this is much more complicated than it probably should be. So 35, we said five centimeters from the piece of the acrylic, the inner part of the acrylic straight to the outside of the circle. So it's 35 and another 15. Okay, so now I know that our circle, which will hold the fan will be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to do a two point circle, one from there and there. And we have that thing there Then I'm going to go draw a line again. And I'm simply going to move it down to here. I'll do another one down to here. As you can see now, it's starting to take shape. So I can already start just to make it a bit cleaner. I'm going to go on the trim and I'm going to start cleaning some things up there. See, now it's much cleaner. What I'm going to do actually, I'm going to extend this downwards a bit, um, just so it has better support. I'm going to trim the excess part here. We can already see that it's, it's looking just like the sketch, which is the most important thing. Now what we need to do is, we need to do a couple of circuits here to extrude them properly so that the nut can fit in, uh, the screw can fit in properly. So we're going to do a circle, a center diameter circle, and we'll do this one at 
7 millimeters and we'll also do another one at 4 millimeters. Now I'll explain why I did two. So this will be removed, the inside of this, it will not be printed so the screw can go through and this will be slightly extruded in the model so that the screw can sit on it. As you can see the part is already, well it's there, I just need to clean that up that part over there and I'm going to extrude. So first I'm going to extrude that. I'm going to extrude it let's say three millimeters. I'm going to go back to the sketch which is this. I'm going to right click and edit sketch and I'm going to extrude this and I'm going to extrude this six millimeters. Now if I drag this all the way up we can see that it's pretty much what I wanted, <laughs> surprisingly enough. That is pretty much spot on the sketch that we did. All that's left now is to simply right click, save as SDL, click OK and send to the printer. And these are the results. I printed these in a diagonal um, position thus just so they can fit on the bed. What I did was I printed one then I mirrored the STL in Simplify 3D and printed the other. And actually they came out pretty well. The first test they seem to fit just fine in there. All I need to do now is screw the fan in there and we'll see how it goes. And it attaches just fine. It took less than five minutes of designing a Fusion 360. It took about in total about 40 minutes to print both of these very quickly and we have a solution to a problem. Now I did reprint this little guy here and this is the result and I have to say that I am extremely 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 happy with the result. Now granted it didn't print perfectly well for two reasons. One I had the orientation wrong so the face wasn't actually facing the fan it was facing to the side which is one cheek printed much better than the other and the other thing is that you have to keep in mind that this is not concentrated air directly on the part. It kind of free flows around all of the build plate. But for such a simple remedy, it, it took me less than $5 to fix this, what I felt was a serious issue. And the results were really good. So I'm really happy to now keep on printing and get on to my final review very soon. That is it for me guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little noob tutorial of Fusion 360. I know how many of you will tell me what I did wrong in the comment section below and please do actually because it teaches me. I get to learn a bit more on how to use Fusion 360. I do feel a bit intimidated on using it um, which is why I kind of said to myself I have to start somewhere. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Until the next time guys, as always, happy making.